and we're back with some more room worlds. And today we are not we're not upgrading to 1.3. Uh, the reason being, all of that animal changes would well, it'd probably break this save. I'm not sure we'd be able to to manage, or I'd have to completely rejig everything. And I really don't want to do that while we're sitting at what 147 pawns. It would be very difficult. So we're going to finish out this playthrough on 1.2. Now today is all about dealing with some bugs. Uh, basically, these insects over here, we're going to... Oh, oh, okay, one sec. There we are. Worthy worth. You can have that honor. Perfect. So, we should get some bugs, and we've made sure that there's a honeypot over here for the bugs to spawn in. We've uh, sealed up the old one. All of that's been bricked in. So, this should be the place they're going to want to spawn. And where did all those janissaries arrive? You know what? You're way too far away to help out. The plan is we've got a nice choke point here, and we have 100 pawns. Uh, infestation, infestation, please. Yes. Okay, it's pretty far away. We're going to have to go attract their attention. Please tell me you didn't spawn through the doors. No, you did not. You're all on the outside. Perfect. Turns out JV here has fibrous mechanites and it makes them really, really fast. Okay, that's a fair chunk of bugs. Is that all of them? All right, what are we looking at? 88 mega spiders. That's not so bad. 101 spellipedes. Uh, then we've got... 110 mega scarabs. Yeah, easy peasy. We've got 100 people. This should be... The oh, thing is, can we get a bead on one of them without attracting the attention of too many? Well, not attracting the attention of too many, just... Uh, there you go. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him quick before they go around the corner. Yep. Do you hear that? that? That's the sound of the computer crying as all of those bugs try and make passing. Wait. Where, where are you going? Don't, don't go that way. Why are you going that way? Oh, animals and stuff. You know what? We'll have to pull all the animals back inside. So I think, yeah, JV's being chased by a couple of them. We'll, we'll sort this out. Well, we managed to get a few of them to join us. Oh, and the game's thinking again. I moved all our people back inside and uh, set the animals to a safe zone. But this should be a nice little kill box where, Jesus, the amount of firepower from 100 pawns. Oh, a few people are getting hit from the rear. So you know what? Let's put you down here, maybe. Yeah, you can all go over there. There's just such an overwhelming stream of firepower. It's like watching a bunch of marines go up against some zerglings. Alright, I think... I think we're good for now. Oh, the rest of them are going to the kill box. Yeah, I should close the doors. We have closed the doors and convinced the bugs to go home. We're, uh, we're moving our people to... Ooh. Yep, we're just gonna kill that stellipede, I suppose, before we, uh... Yep, yeah, kill, kill that thing there, would you? <laughs> One second while I play Ring Around the Rosie. Here comes the bugs now. They're about to come around that corner in a second, and our people are a little bit slow, some of them. So I haven't been turning on the uh, fire at will just yet because they've been uh, firing at insect nests. But that should be that. Jesus. There's something to be said about just having overwhelming firepower. So, uh, maybe we didn't have the overwhelming firepower I thought we did. Uh, yeah, we lost one of our people there. 92, Alacard. Uh, sorry? Uh, uh, sorry, Alard de Boer. Sorry about that, Chief. Uh, in fact, you got destroyed by a liver shot from... Yeah, Charge Lance. 97, Paul Boer's Charge Lance killed you. That's another friendly fire incident. I think we've only had one person die so far of non-friendly fire stuff. Uh, damn it. Yeah, well, it was still worth it for killing the bugs really quickly. Plus, we've got so much insect meat we can now add to our fridge. Uh, as well as that, I need to arrange for a bunch of people to go carry these people back home. Some of them are going to be bleeding out in six hours. Because Randy just loves us so much, it's a high psychic drone male. No one's even managed to make it back home yet or finish any they're carrying. So, you know, of course, they're tired. It's dark. They haven't had a chance to eat. They've just got injured from a bunch of fights. And now they've got a massive high psychic drone on top of that. And, uh, yeah, one of them just immediately went on a mental break and we shot them down. Though so they're alive. Foosh, sorry, you, uh, took a little bit of a hit on that one. But I managed to get to them before they riddled you full of bullets and instead they just punched you into unconsciousness. Yeah, that's tantrum. Oh, God. Okay, so food binge. Food binge? Oh, smoke leaf binge. Smoke leaf binge. Berserk, that was foosh. Corpse obsession. Okay, where, where did you put the corpse? Where, where'd you hide it? Where'd you hide it? Oh, God, you... <sighs> 
You dug up Allard? Come on. That's just wrong. Uh, I just need to find someone who's not on the verge of mental breaking and get them to uh, prioritise burying them again. You muppet. Oh, there's a daze. Uh, corpse obsession. Oh, pods have arrived. <laughs> yeah. So, all of that uh, stuff actually got dropped off for us. That's great. Thanks very much. And we even got... Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. It's one of those uh, low shield packs. Someone can use that. Uh, quest for the ceremony. Freehold title gain. Daze. Daze. Smoke leaf binge. Zist event. Insulting spree. Death. Corpse obsession. Sad wander. Insulting spree. Sad one. <laughs> Yeah, never mind. All gone, all gone, all gone, all gone, all gone. Oh, pawns will sleep together. Yeah, I can sort that one. The psychic drone has just ended, thankfully, and dear lord, we needed it so badly to end. There was a couple of berserks from prisoners, but oh, oh an infection here and there, a tantrum. Someone actually gave up. Uh, 69, Halo Davis actually gave up and tried to leave the colony. We, of course, arrested them and imprisoned them, and we're now recruiting them again. They should hopefully be back on our team again shortly, unless they do something silly, like take part in a prison break, and we end up gunning them down, which I hope doesn't happen. I think we're down to... Yeah, bugger all prisoners left, actually. How many prisoners? We're going to need to start topping up on them shortly. Resistance remaining... Yeah, I think that's the toughest prisoner we've got left. All the rest are pretty much done. Viper is psychically deaf, so we're not going to be able to break those anytime soon. But I think I think soon we're going to actually run out of prisoners. I've been started to put in, uh, move the beds around a bit so that we can store more prisoners next time a little bit more efficiently. Massive prison breaks again, but at least we should be able to store more prisoners. We are gathered here today to join in holy matrimony Zogden and Boydra. Uh, Boydra is an 18-year-old male who is a cave world tender, undergrounder and slothful who has been assigned to cleaning and hauling. They are getting married to Zogden, a brawler who's tough and a quick sleeper. You know, that quick sleeper should go really well with that slothful. Uh, who's uh, an animal handler and cleaning. So animals and cleaning versus cleaning and hauling and what's going on, Mad Boom? Oh, I'll take care of that in a minute. Hopefully it doesn't blow anything up while we're not looking. Anyway, that's uh, that's 127 people wedding. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of weddings that I can put on thumbnails at this point. Wait, let me rephrase that. There's so many weddings that have happened at this point that uh, using them as thumbnails is just, you know, it's overkill. We've seen so many of them. And wedding is completed. In fact, that should be two weddings. Some of them are exposed. Yep, double wedding. First one will wear off in four days. Kind of nice having this many pawns. You're going to continually get those nice wedding bonuses. Of course, a bunch of people are going to show up late because, well, of course they are. It's a little bit unfortunate, but with this many pawns, some of them are going to be sleeping or injured or doing whatever. Now, any fights? Come on, any fights? Right, that's a lot of meals. D did we not have enough tape? Yeah, we don't have enough tables near here. I'm going to have to put a lot of tables around this area to make sure that doesn't happen again. All right, where were we? Ah, yes, Boomalope. Uh, we should probably... No, no, I'm not going to kill the Boomalope until we haul in all the hay. Otherwise, there's going to be fire, and the fire will lead to rain, and the rain will cause all of the hay to degrade. So we're going to pull in all the hay, then we're going to go kill some Boomalopes. We have managed to run into a too deep infestation on a different set of mining drills, the ones over here. Uh, what do we get? Eight stellipedes and... Oh, sorry. Eight spellipedes. Yeah, I keep pronouncing those. A couple of mega scarabs and a couple of mega spiders. I think we've got enough to uh, cause them problems. We'll lose a table or two, but... Jesus. Guys, guys, there is a giant spider bearing down on top of you. See that one right there? You should be really focused on making sure that does not touch you. In fact, let's just make sure a bunch of you are uh, very focused on that. Yeah, there you go, see? And then we'll just shoot a few more. The rest of them and down here... Yeah, they took care of that one. Okay, we lost the table. And a couple of scratches. Yeah, it looks like it's just more bug meat for the fridge. How's their fridge looking? Yeah, that's that's pretty buggy. Uh, we'll we'll have to release the donkeys from there as well. Perfect. Uh, that's a good hold. And as well as that, we're getting in lots of steel right now. So I think it's time we expanded our power and our food. Randy has decided we're going to have to put our plans on hold for a little bit. Uh, the nothing too major has happened. We've scanned some stuff, found some components, had a few food binges. There was that too deep infestation, some inspired tamings, a whole bunch of random junk, but nothing too important. Now, there is something important. There's Emily's exes. They've shown up. Transport pods, haywire scattered all over the place, and they're about to hit us. Where they're going to land, though, is the question. Uh, thank God for this map. All right, all right, all right. This is not... This is not too bad. Hmm. Okay, I think what we do here is all the ones in the outside areas... Oh, that one there needs to be taken care of. Uh, all the ones in the outer areas here, they should be able to be corralled around to our kill box. All we have to do is open some doors. For example, if you open a door there and there, they should be able to get out. 
Hmm. Let me uh, let me get start moving people into position. This is just gonna be so messy. The the map is so huge. You have so many things everywhere. Uh, yeah. Let's just try and uh, get across what I'm going to do. I'm gonna have uh, Peter Werner here open this door. That should mean that everyone in this outside layer here has an exit point here where they can get around to the kill box. And theoretically they should go that way. Unless they get attracted in by an animal or something going through a door. There's uh, like uh, there's animals all over the place that are moving. So they might get attracted in a door in some locations. But hopefully not all of them. Now there's two over here that there's nothing we can do about. They're landing in this area here which is the chicken coop area. Which means I'm afraid we're just going to have to tank them. Doesn't matter what they are, doesn't matter what they're doing, we're going to have to tank them. Now we'll put Ransom there, and we'll put Otis there, or Chris there. The plan here is... Oh, what are you? You are machine gun. We'll shoot you. You are auto shotgun. Oh, we will melee attack you. Uh, you... You know what? We'll just, we'll just have them shoot. It's easier. Why not? Okay, over here, what have we got? We've got Kimmy. Kimmy is probably going to do something stupid there, but they're trapped in this corridor. Donkeys and the bear are leaving. I think I think we're good. We're going to let the rest of them all do their thing. Oh, polar bear too. Yeah, they're moving back to a safe location, but they're probably going to get followed. Here you go there. Okay, Ransom the Blind is in. Ooh, you know what? Yep, that's one down. Well, that worked out really well. Okay, you guys all go over there. I'll go over there. That's going to be one very dead enemy. Oh, damn it. Okay, what is this person equipped with? A machine gun. Okay, Powell here is going through this direction, so they're going to open this door. Uh, yeah, that way. Come on. Uh, hopefully they don't get killed before they do it. That should mean the three enemies in this location, or this sort of box that we're in, they should all come out this door and head towards the killbox. Uh, what are we looking at over here? Kimmy started a fire. Well, Kimmy... One of the great things about Kimmy over here is they're equipped with a sniper rifle. Come on. Come on, run them down. Uh, over here. Very dead enemies. That's uh, exactly what we wanted. Uh, over here. Yeah, I think we're cool. I think this kind of worked out. Peter, back to work. Kimmy's got a sniper rifle. You know what? We're going to have to tank one hit. Not a second hit, though. Don't let them get off a second shot. Ow. Yeah, I think he just took off someone's arm. Left arm completely destroyed. Uh, oh, wait, no, that might have been destroyed beforehand. Right hand. Okay. Sorry about that, Paul. You're probably going to go to the hospital. Yeah, you, you, should, you should get looked into for that. Uh, Papa, just go back a little bit. And then shoot them. Perfect. Problem solved. Uh, we should probably put out those fires over here. For anyone who's confused, this base is designed with a double layer defense system. Uh, what that means is, you'll see this outer edge here. Just say here, this is a, a sort of an edge that is, well, a defensive area. Nothing, so long as everything is outside of this, it is considered one sealed in area. So if, say, pirates land in here or anything lands in here, so long as they have a door open anywhere on the second perimeter, and the second perimeter is just basically the big box all the way around the outside, they should be able to escape out that door. Just say we open this one over here. They should be able to escape out that door and make their way around to the kill box. And the reason they want to go to the kill box is it's the direct, most direct route to the bedrooms. There is, see this door here? This door here is open. It leads to the bedrooms. Uh, this door here is open and it leads down through a whole bunch more open doors to more bedrooms down here, which are also connected via open doors to more bedrooms. All the bedrooms on the map can be accessed with no walls and no digging via this one location. So if they all come around this way, that's where they can get shot nice and neatly. And you notice here a bunch of them are doing precisely that. Though a few are stopping to burn some uh, heel root. I, I don't really care too much, actually. We've got 590 heel root from all of the stuff we've been doing. I, I'm, I'm not bothered going outside. Only injury so far was Powell. That's because Jay Powell went through here and was uh, a bit of a boss to open that door for us. We also lost an alpaca that got injured, and I think a donkey died somewhere. You know what? Who cares? We'll just uh, get every, get a few people lined up in the kill box. There's only going to be a very small amount of them. I'm not... I, I'm not going to turn on the kill box to heat stroke them out. They're just too far spread out and it just wouldn't work so well. Instead, we're just going to uh, get our people lined up and mow them down. As we watch the enemies stream into our kill box to get shot to death. 
Damn, you went pretty fast. Are you are you juiced? Go juice is a hell of a drug. Uh, we're gonna have David over here come along and make sure we uh, we get some EMP grenades down right there, but just to make sure none of them get any shield belts off. You will notice here we have improved our kill box quite substantially since the last time we've really used it. Yeah, that didn't work out for you so good, did it? Yeah, first thing we did was we put down a roof. So we put a roof over here so everyone's actually shielded from the rain. I Yeah, I forgot to put over the second layer, but that that's going in now. We also have installed a bunch of lights so that no one gets uh, an in-the-darkness debuff. And that's a mechanoid duster landing on top of us, and it's going to land over here. That's... Yeah, we might just seal that off and then forget about it for a while. <laughs> but uh, as well as that, we've also put in a bunch of statues here to make sure all of our pawns get some decent beauty. It's not quite enough to get them into the high-end beauty, but we may need to install a few more statues just to make them go over the edge. The problem is I don't want to put so many statues in here. It's just sometimes you get mechanoid drops in here and you can't defend it and you just lose everything. So putting in a whole bunch of masterworks would be a waste. Good statues are uh, a dime a dozen or cheap enough, let's say. I think... I think we're just going to have to wait until the mechanoid cluster wears off. Uh, hopefully they're asleep. How you doing? Oh, they are asleep, and they've got a smoke spewer with them. That's fine by me. What do you got? Seven centipedes? Mech cluster capsule? Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with you. Oh, unstable power cells. We have to harvest those. We have to find a way to harvest those power cells. But first, we'll just we'll finish off these uh, we'll finish off these pesky pirates. Yeah, this is not going to be a difficult fight. Uh, the rest of the pirates have went around the outside edge, which is great. None of them are left inside our kill box. They all took the bait and went out this door. So I think we just go and close that door, and we can let the rest of them funnel around to the kill box when we're ready. Uh, White Fox, what are you doing? You're wandering? Nope, you're closing doors today, buddy. Okay, that should be the end of that, and we'll worry about the uh, the mechanoids next. Emily's exes are fleeing. Unfortunately, though, this is going to mess us up because in eight seconds the mechs activate. Seems it had a countdown timer that was good for a couple of hours. Yeah, we don't have much time to figure out a pl plan here. Eight seconds is not enough time. We need more than that, so it just means we're going to have to face them while they're activated. Uh, you know what? Let's see what they are. Three, two, one and expired seven centipedes okay they haven't activated the mech capsule so that's good and they don't seem to have anything else so just the mech capsule seven centipedes yeah i think we lure away the enemies or lure away them and then we can deal with the rest of it afterwards the smoke spewer is going to be an annoyance but well yeah that's going to reduce sunlight however how much does it reduce sunlight i'm pretty sure it's about the same as a toxic fallout yeah yeah, it's like Toxic Fallout or Volcanic Winter style. Uh, actually, closer to Volcanic Winter. And we did make sure we had enough power to handle all of that. So this should not impact us in the slightest. We built for this. We, we planned for this. We knew it could happen. Hey, anyway, well, Emily's exes are broken. Uh, is any of them still alive? Nope. Oh, well. Uh, pity. Would have been nice to have a couple more prisoners. But, say la vie. Well, we made a little bit of a boo-boo. Made a little bit of a boo-boo. I mean, we tried to close this door here. That activated these turrets which shot at us. Now, I didn't think that was going to be a big deal. Normally what happens is they, the mechs are designed to protect whatever they've dropped with. So in this case, the smoke spewer. So as long as we didn't damage that, they should go back to protecting it. But they've went rampant and just started destroying everything on the outer edges. In fact, they've started destroying this tile here, which is a problem. We're repairing it, but it's a losing battle. However, we've managed to lure some of them into the kill box, and I'm hopeful that when we start shooting them, that will distract them. No. Still not distracted, eh? Well, in that case, what we will have to do is get a couple of people over there with Zeus hammers. That's the only way we're going to stop that one. Are they at a... Oh, no, it's in range of the cannons. Okay, let's get some Zeus hammer people over there. And while the Zeus hammer people are on the way, we're going to have to kill everything that comes in here. The rest of them seem to... Have... Yeah, most of them have changed their minds. Yeah, they're coming our direction. Except this one. I think that's going to keep targeting until the wall goes. Actually, that might be an idea. If we build a second wall segment behind this... Yeah, that could work. If we build a second wall segment, maybe we can get that up before... Where are you going? You're going to repair the marble wall. Hmm. Hmm. Tell you what. Uh, clear home area. Let's not. Let's not clear that. There's that. Nope, nope. You know what? Let, let's remove that from the home zone as well. Nope, want anyone coming up to repair that stuff. You good? Yeah. God 
Damn it. I know I should make new zones and everything, but honestly, the amount of zone changing you have to do, and then you have to change 100 plus pawns to a different area, and then you have to move them back to the area when you're finished, it gets exhausting. It's just sometimes you're better off just eating it, and... Why? You're, you're holding it. I literally locked a whole bunch of doors to prevent this sort of stupidity. And now you've gone and just like, just really enhanced that stupidity to an absolutely incredible level. Thank you, Mobile. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I don't know why you went there, but it's going to be your tomb. If you die, not my problem. You were too stupid to live. Oh, Christ. Okay, they're all done there. How is this looking? 39%. You know what? We might want to prioritize this. To try and get this finished faster, it's 40% in there. We're going to have I Am Fat. I Am Fat Dragon. Come down here, grab some plasteel. Uh, there. Oh, we should probably get some more people on the line. Seriously? That thing just waltzed through the machine gun fire. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Guys, you're going to have to melee attack that. Seriously, how that thing got through the, the rain of fire is beyond me. So, this wall's actually getting built in time. And once it does, that'll free up edge free. Yeah, you, you can forget about that, buddy. Who cares? If it breaks that wall segment, it still can't get through. Uh, down here, how are we looking? Oh, and mobile. Yep, yep. Well, you got yourself shot, buddy, because you're an idiot. It, it, it's just the way it is. Sorry. You. Uh, I want you to... I had to replace the Schweitzer. They've got a... Uh... Wow, you are... What happened to you? Yeah, your legs are mostly gone. You got nine hours, though. Why are we generating a new... Oh, I think I have some people out in the map. Caravan lumps. Well, I think this should be all of the... Yeah, that should be all of the enemies drawled in. Once all the enemies are destroyed, we can then go and start repairing this area. Oh, you finished with the wall segment, and now you've stopped. Muppet. <laughs> right. Uh, I should probably send someone out to rescue Mobile. Uh, I feel like leaving them there to die because I'm a monster, but at the same time, it's sort of rude. Uh, Shepard, get over here. You're going on a rescue mission. Yeah, they got how long left to live? They got six hours. Six hours is plenty of time. And the enemies over here are getting absolutely slaughtered because they're weak sauce. Now, the question here is, they should try and pass back through this door, which we are going to jam open. Just grab Mobile and get out of there. No need for anything fancy. Yep, yep, that's perfect. Why, why are you going up and around? Uh, you know what? Who cares? Ow. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. And we close the door behind us. How are our enemies doing over here? They're getting riddled. That's exactly what we wanted. And monkeys up front. Uh, great. Monkeys repairing whatever's there. Good job, monkey. I think this is going to go... God damn it. Okay, I have cleared this area. They can't go in here, which was already cleared already, but now they can't go near the kill box to repair it. Come on, just, yep. Yeah. That's a good pause. Stay out of the line of fire. That would be great. Thank you kindly. Muppets. All right, I think we're good. That one's going to go over there, hit on the wall a couple of times, and then probably go home. Or will they? Are, are they going to keep beating on that wall until it's destroyed? Ah, oh, damn it. You know what? I will... I will send someone over there to build a wall segment. We're going to take some time to clean up all of this mess before we go on. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have to haul a whole bunch of these damn things out of the way. And then we got to go in and see if we can't extract some of these unstable power cells. The problem is, some of them are really close to the guns. Uh, if we had skip or something like that, we could maybe build a couple of wall segments to help protect them. But now we'll just have to... Uh, here's the problem. If we kill that gun, it'll probably explode. And if it does, it'll kill that power cell. And if it kills that power cell, it'll cause that one to go as well. It'll cause a chain reaction type of thing. Though I think if we go with grenades... Grenades do 200 damage per hit. Grenades should straight up just kill them. Hmm. You know what? I like that thinking. We'll send in someone with grenades, blow them up that way and see if that works. With our killbacks shiny and new and repaired, it's time to go in and take care of this section. So for that, we have Alex here. Um, Alex should be good to go. Uh, perfect. Now, chimp jetpack. Thank you very much. Let's go. Uh, no, we want you to aim. Yeah, let's see. 
Yeah, that should be fine. We're gonna get you to go up this direction now. Yeah. Perfect. Now the great thing about these is they do 200 points of damage. Ooh, no, we don't want to aim there. Oh, yeah, this is a mess. Save. Yeah, if we miss by a bit, we'll still be fine if we aim there. Perfect. How much time you got left in your invisibility? Four seconds. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's, um... Do the invisibility. <laughs> Close. All right, so we've got two more over there that we need to get rid of. Hmm. I'm thinking, though, we can't really get rid of these. You see, if we pop this one, uh, we still got that mini slugger left, and that mini slugger is going to be almost impossible to kill. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I think we just... Considering the blast radius and that, I think we just throw a grenade into the middle and let them all destroy each other. Uh, you. If we miss by a bit... Yep, yeah, don't care. Uh, ye over this direction, I suppose. How close are we? Come on. I'm just worried about how much uh, neural heat we have and how much invisibility we're going to have. Well, there's another turret bites the dust. Yeah, that's fine. And that should be the end of all the turrets in invisible range. Should it? Oh, would you look at that? That is beautiful. Nope, nope. Could not have planned that better. Okay, the only turret left not in range is this one, but that one's behind a wall. We can take a second to recover. And pop. Both gone. No damage. Unstable power cell. Thank you, Randy. Okay, that just leaves this one over here to deal with. We can take that out in a second. In fact, we might just be able to poke around the corner and deal with it that way. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of those trees, though. Those trees are an annoyance. Using grenades against trees. I've never tried this before, but I assume... Yep. Works just fine. Yeah, perfect. Now, if we can get a good angle here... Let's do this nice and slow. We should be able to just throw grenades around the corner. And then... At some point, we'll miss by a bit. Yep. Would you look at that? We already missed by a bit. <laughs> and since the grenade's right there, the turret's dead. Uh, that just leaves... The only thing left is this. Yeah, smoke spear. We can take this out in no time. Especially considering we've got our grenade equipped person here. Oh, yeah. One second. I don't think you can actually target it directly. Uh, can you? Oh, you can. Perfect. 200 hit points of damage per hit, so... This may take a little time. That did not end it. I forgot the uh, mech assembler over here. That should be fairly quick. We'll just chuck that there. And what's the hit points? Yeah, 260. It takes two grenades to kill this thing, unfortunately. But, boom, one. And once that's done, we'll have this area cleared. Everyone gets a little bit of a mood bonus. Yeah, defeated mech cluster, but plus four. A green skull. Uh, we can now claim the unstable power cells and cart them off. I like it. And I think we can deconstruct some of this. Oh, you need one of those shield things. But yeah, we'll deconstruct the rest of the junk. That was actually relatively painless. I was expecting that to be a little bit worse, but no, went ahead just fine. And I'll just have to open all these doors again, let the animals back out, do all that stuff, and uh, do the normal maintenance of an after-fight cleanup. Let's quickly knock all of this stuff out of the way. Don't care, don't care. Inspired trade, legendary work. Marble sculpture, perfect. Mega sloth revenge. We killed it. Sad wander, sad wander. Inspired creativity. Alcohol binge. Inspired taming. Caravan arrived at lump of compacted machinery. Inspired taming. Death alpaca. Mechanoid cluster. Quest expired. Uh, inspired trade. Inspired taming. Death of a donkey and raid by Emily's exes. Yeah, all good. And caravan idle. Yeah, you need to approach that lump of compacted machinery. I stopped them just outside because I wanted them to get a little bit of rest before they went in. Now we'll just deconstruct all of this and see what tasty components it yields. Next up from Randy, we have a... Oh my god, this is so pathetic. There's two groups of sappers. They're tribals. So there's 18 this side, and there's 26 this side. I think we'll send about 50 people with guns to kill them, and we'll send like 30 people with guns to kill them. And we'll leave the other 70 people or so just uh, working on the base. Why not? Um, <laughs> okay. Plans, though, for the, the next episode. We are going to fill this in with a double power brick. We have, we're have we going to f basically squeeze in two of those. That will allow us to run 28 extra crop sections or uh, sun lamps. So an extra 28 sun lamps, which will allow us to increase our population quite substantially. And once that's finished, we do have... Oh, and we do have this area here. We're up to 93 beds for prisoners. 
We're going to increase that to a little bit over 100. We should be able to hold 100 prisoners. Yes, we're going to have mass breakouts, but we don't care so much about that. It's like, as long as enough of them survive, who cares? For example, these ones here are just almost unbreakable. Look at this, 99% recruitment of elite. It's about 3.6% recruitment chance every attempt. They are just horribly hard to recruit. Though we do get the odd inspired recruitment and take care of them. CM Dark has one, we'll, we'll take care of one of those in a minute. But before we knock off for the day, let's uh, let's have a quick naming ceremony because there's been a lot of new hires. I think we, we can add in an extra 10 and bring us up to a nice round 150 number. Number 141, we have Robert Lord. They'll be building and doing a little bit of research in terms of scanning. They're bloodlust and asexual, can't do dumb labour. Very few bloodless people we've found. It's one of the rarest traits and it's one of the best because they, they don't, they're not affected by rotten corpses. There's other people that can ignore corpses and not affected by it, but these ones, rotten corpses don't bother them. That's very powerful. Uh, they'll, they'll work out pretty loud as a solid pawn. 142, Glek Tarsicism. Tarsadza. Tars That's too many S's and Z's. I can't, I can't do it. I, I tried, Google just can't help me with that one, I'm afraid. So, Glek, Glek, we're going to call you Glek. Planting and mining, namely because you never have enough planters and you never have enough miners, it seems. They're a nervous psychopath. Not sure how that works, but anyway, uh, left hand is already been replaced with a field hand and plenty of scares and torn off things already, because that's what it's like in this colony. Solid pawn. 143, Jason Stewart, warden and doctor, namely because fast learner, optimist, sickly for some reason, I don't know. but yeah, doctor and medicine is all they're really good at. We could give them a site in construction, but you know what? Warden and doctor and you can do lots of cleaning up on the side otherwise. After that, the right leg has a scratch scare, so rock solid pawn. They'll do it serve as well, especially in the cleaning aspects. Our next name is, well, it could go either way. Is it Buttslinger or is it Buttslinger? Uh, I'm not sure which and uh, frankly, I'm, I'm not Googling that, so... <laughs> Well, we'll just go with Butt Slinger. But Butt Slinger kind of has a better rhyme to it. They're going straight into plants and animals. Namely because, yeah, we, we always need more planters. Especially considering we're going to be requiring another 28 Sunlamp Grow Zones going in in the next episode. Super immune, slow learner, teetotaler. So their plant skills probably not going to get much better. Already has a field hand installed. Damn, we're doing well today. 145. We have Jacob Zyke. Animals and art. Namely because animals and art are all they're good at and they're sickly and gay. A sickly gay artist who's good with animals. Okay, I, I got an image of a French guy who smokes way too much cigarettes with lots of cats living in like one of those big sort of one room sort of warehouse things who does lots of really bad art. Yeah, anyway, and yeah, no health conditions will do well for animals and art. 146, Ollie Martin, crafting and planting. And they had to go into crafting. Just look at that. I couldn't not put them in crafting. That just would have been wrong. I also put them into planting because, well, they were good at it and we're always going to need more planters. They're a psychically sensitive, nervous, and kind. No major health conditions. Oh, middle toe and, oh, actually, a few minor conditions, but solid pawn. They'll do well in the crafting and planting. 147, Benjamin Schneider, animals and cleaning. Staggeringly un ugly, undergrounder, and kind. Yeah, you're you're going to be doing a lot of animals and cleaning. Health conditions: itchy gunshot wound in their left leg. They'll they'll do very well here. Jeremy Hindgardner, Hindgard Gardner, G Gardner. Jeremy Hindgardner at 148. Animals and cleaning. Uh, chemical interest, kind and caring. In fact, this is the first chemical interest, jealous or uh, greedy that we've seen so far in this recruitment list. We've actually been really lucky this round so far. Well, I suppose it's the later recruits. Spine is unfortunately bad, and they're missing a stomach. I think that's their second pawn that's missing a stomach, or first, I can't remember. This was only patched in in 1.2 that pawn's going to survive without a stomach. We should probably get them one at some point, because it affects how uh, quickly they eat stuff and sleep and a bunch of stuff. Uh, maybe later when we can afford the, the bionics. Micah Hamby. Uh, building and cleaning. And when you look at that, they're jealous, because we just don't... How are you jealous and kind at the same time? That makes sense. Anyway, straight into construction, because they're good at it. Uh, health conditions, yes, yeah, a lot of people are missing noses right now. Stab scar, uh, they'll do well, especially considering how many construction people we need. But right now, our constructors basically just fly through stuff. Or is it? They come into an area, and it's usually one person per construction project, and they just rip right through it. Our 150th recruit, Christian Muller. Plants and animals, and they've got a great memory, and they're abrasive. But you know what? That's fine. That just means they'll end up in more social fights. I've actually been collecting all the social fights in a little folder, so I've recorded a bunch of them. So many people hate each other. Right leg, gunshot wound, but 
solid pawn. They'll do quite well for us. They're also way, of course, into wardening. Anyone with at least a, a passion in social goes straight into wardening as well. We just need as many wardens as possible. And we're going to need even more in the future. Right now, for the first time in a long time, we're ahead of the curve. We're actually planning to install our power here and then expand our crop production to have even more food. So we're actually getting ahead of where we need to be for the first time in God knows how long. We have committed to quite a large prison system over here. You'll notice I'm not using this end one because it's not in range of this. I've just decided we're going to eat the prison breaks. They'll happen. We'll gun down a bunch of them, but as long as we have enough, it's fine. Plus, I'm going to floor these in with steel, assuming we have any steel left after we finish producing this enormous power brick over here. If we do, then yes, we'll steel floor that in in steel to help prevent infections. Apologies that the videos are coming out uh, haphazardly and delayed and everything. It's just, yeah, life is fun at the moment, let's just say. Also, Ireland is an absolute scorcher right now. Just, it's it's incredibly warm and I don't have air conditioning. It, it's, it's very sweaty. Very, very sweaty. <laughs> Okay, you don't need to know that. Anyway, I'm going to uh, head off. I hope you enjoyed and good luck.